Hi and hello, this is Techie Dude and welcome to the image processing with OpenCV and Python series. And in this video, that is the first video in image processing with OpenCV and Python, we will be looking into what is image processing. First, first let us divide the term image processing into two halves. One is processing, the next one is image. Processing is nothing but we are doing some sort of functions or some sort of operations in a set of data which we have in our hand to get the useful information out of it. So we will could apply the same thing to image. In image processing, we will be having an image in our hand. With the image, we will be getting some useful information out of it by applying certain functions which might be mathematical or just uh, kind of observation functions and we will be getting the useful data out of it. That is image processing. Now we could see image processing in terms of some application. The first application is object detection. Now object detection, what we do is that we have an image in hand and we try to identify the object of our interest. So here is an example of an image. So I have an image over here and my aim is to detect the pedestrians in this image. The pedestrians are the object of my interest in this image. So what I will do is apply some algorithm and find the pedestrians and it will get an output something similar to this in which the pedestrians are marked with red rectangular boxes. So this is an example of object detection and object detection varies based on the applications. So each application will have different objects of interest and the object detection algorithms also varies based on that. And the another application of image processing is image enhancement. In image enhancement what we do is that each image will be having different features like brightness, contrast, histograms etc. So in case if an image is too bright and what we'll do is decrease the brightness for better visible perception. If it's too dull, we'll be increasing the brightness. So this is what we do in image enhancement. And to explain with an example, let's we'll look into this image. We have an image over here in which the brightness, uh, that is mean, I mean the contrast, is too high. That is the contrast between the images is too high. So we, what we'll do is that we'll be decreasing contrast as shown now. So this is what we do in image this is what we do in image enhancement and the third application which I would like to discuss is that image restoration in image restoration we will be having a degraded image and what we will do is that we will be getting back the original image from the degraded image for example we could consider this image of a car which is being blurred so in image restoration what we do is that we apply some mathematical function to get back the original image so once we apply some mathematical functions to this image we will be getting a car which is not being blurred as without any blur as shown now so we could see a uh, better an image or enhanced image of the original image being restored and now let us jump into the OpenCV installation in Python so in this uh, tutorial I'll be looking into the pip method installation so before going into that make sure that Python is installed in your computer and once Python is in installed in your computer with environment variables being added to the path go into C users admin app data local programs python python 37 and scripts in this particular folder we will be having a python file name pip or pip3 so what you do is that go and click the uh, directory on the top and type in cmd over there this will start the command prompt in that particular directory once the command prompt is start and just go in and type pip3 install opencv underscore python what this will do is that it will collect the OpenCV packages from the internet that is the latest version of OpenCV from the internet and NumPy from the internet and it will install it in your computer. So let me go through the installation in the let me go through the installation now. So here we have just go into see users app data local go into app data if app data is invisible make sure that the hidden items are being hidden items checkbox is being checked so once it's being checked will be having the app data folder once you go into the app data go into local and into programs and into python and into python 37 go into the scripts folder and just type in cmd over there once you type cmd will be having the command prompt open opening that particular directory and just type in pip3 install opencv python this will collect the opencv packages from the internet that is the latest version of opencv packages from the internet and numpy packages from the internet and installed in the computer since 
I have the OpenCV package is already downloaded. It shows that using cached OpenCV packages. So now it's uh, my NumPy packages are being downloaded from the internet. That is the latest NumPy version is being downloaded. If you ask why now, why we need NumPy? All the images in OpenCV are stored in NumPy format. That is, all images are generally stored as two-dimensional arrays, and these arrays are of NumPy format. So, if you use NumPy library along with our OpenCV library for image processing, all the array calculations can be made easy, and all of the manipulations, uh, matrix manipulations, can be made easy. So, this is why this is the reason why we use NumPy arrays and OpenCV packages together. NumPy package and OpenCV package together. So, let's wait until the NumPy and OpenCV packages are being installed. Yes, we have successfully installed the OpenCV and NumPy packages. Let's check whether they have installed properly. So just type in Python in your terminal. The Python environment will be opened. And just type in import cv2 and click enter. If this line gets executed successfully, it's indicate that the OpenCV packages are properly installed. Now we just type in import NumPy. Both the packages have been successfully installed. So if you like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video, share and comment it. And wait until I post the next video on basics of OpenCV.